Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome back to our channel. I am so glad you are here. Today, on day five of Danny's Designs Craft Month 2018, we are going to create a candle holder piece that is sure to give even Z Gallery pause. I sure hope you'll stay tuned. For this project, you will need two of these LED pillar candles. I've already wrapped mine in diamond wrap. You will need a roll of diamond wrap. You will also need two of these round beveled mirrors, six of these glass crystal pendants, six of these five by seven frames or any frame, just make sure they're flat on the sides. And you will need some table confetti. Of course, you will need your handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting. So the first thing we're going to do for this project is embellish our round mirrors so that they will have a chance to dry while we create the rest of the project. And to do this, we are going to be placing a foundation of our permanent glue going all the way around the border of that mirror or the bevel. On top of that, we're going to go in with increments of a foundation of hot glue. And what we're going to be placing on the edge of this mirror is our table confetti. Now, as you can see, I only placed about an inch and a half of that hot glue down because we know hot glue dries and we want it as a matter of fact we need that hot glue to be piping hot when we place these gems in it so once you have placed your first incremental piece down you're just going to continue that process going all the way around until the entire mirror has been surrounded in this crystal crust I am going to continue the rest of this process off camera and then I will do the exact same thing to my second mirror and then set them both aside to dry so now that we're waiting on our mirrors to dry what we're going to do with our frames is we are going to glue them together these frames that I'm using are the actual frames that I took the panes of glass out of for yesterday's craft so if you have not yet been able to see that I will place the link in the description box below now what we're going to do is glue our two frames frames together so that we can have a finished look on both sides and to do this is pretty simple we're just going to go in with a few beads of our permanent glue going all the way around our frame and in the alternating spaces we are going to go in with a foundation of hot glue and do the exact same thing of course we know that this combination our hot glue is going to give us an immediate adhesion while that e6000 is going to cure over time and once you have placed your glue on your two frames you are going to place them together apply some pressure making sure of course that your corners and your edges are even of course you may get just like I'm noticing I got an irregular frame but of course that's what happens when you work with Dollar Tree products but that's okay just placing this then on a side to dry now in the essence of time I'm going to show you the next step in this same reel and all I'm going to do is taking some of that diamond wrap I am going to place it in between where those two frames are joined so that we can obscure the black rubberish part that lays in between there so I have placed a stream of hot glue in that recess and using my rubber fingers so that I do not get burned I am simply pressing down on that piece of 
diamond wrap so that we are filling in that space and we're going to have a finished look going all the way around. I am going to repeat this process or you are one more time with a second pair of frames. So now for our last pair of frames, we are going to prepare them with our glass crystal pendants before we can actually glue these two pieces together. And to do this, we must first anchor our glass crystal pendants to one of the frames. Now to do this, what I'm going to do simply is just place one bead of that hot glue down and I am going to place my old ring into that bead of hot glue and hold it into place until that hot glue dries over that o-ring when i am confident that it has set i'm going to take another bead of hot glue and i'm going to close in where of course that o-ring made the indentation in that hot glue again placing down another bead of hot glue equidistant one from the other placing your o-ring in that bead of hot glue waiting for that hot glue to set up and then covering it over with another bead of hot glue not moving your crystal pendants around too much i am going to place my other pendants off camera so here we have our glass pendants that have been glued into place by hot glue only. Now, what we're going to do, similarly to what we did to our other pairs, we are going to go around this frame and over those O-rings with a foundation of our permanent glue. Once we have placed that foundation of permanent glue down, we are going to continue the process with our foundation of hot glue, making sure to leave the tops of those glass pendants or the o-rings of those glass pendants until the last so as you can see i'm going in with a stream over those o-rings as opposed to a bullet once i have placed both foundations of my glues down i am going to find my placement of these two frames and I am going to apply some pressure, making sure all of my corners and all of my edges are lined up. And then I am simply going to hold this in place for about one to two minutes to ensure that both glues, our foundation of glues, have been set. So here are our glass pendants that we have secured together between two frames using a foundation of our hot glue and our permanent glue. And what we are going to do now is glue all three of our frames together using a zigzag pattern. The frame with the glass pendants in the middle and the two other frames, one on the top, one on the bottom facing different directions. Now to do this, I am going to place a foundation of my permanent glue right down the split of those two frames we first glued together. On top of that, I'm going to go in with a foundation of my hot glue going right down that same slit and overlapping our permanent glue. Once I have done that, then it is going to be simply a matter of gluing my pieces together, making sure that my edges are lined up one with the other and so are my sides and then placing these two pieces together by applying some pressure and holding it into place to be sure that our foundation of glues have engaged with those two frames. I am going to continue this same process with my other frame and then I'm going to set it aside to dry for a few moments. 
So now here we have our three frames that have been dried and are, as you can see, standing on their own. And what we are going to do now is we are going to place our mirrors, our mirrors that we created at the beginning of this tutorial, on to our frames that are sitting on the left and on the right. To do this, it's very simple. We are going to go in with a foundation of our permanent glue in the middle of that frame on the edges of each of those frames that we have glued together and then on top of that foundation of permanent glue we are going to lay a foundation down of our hot glue and then once we have done that we are simply going to take our mirror center it into place apply some pressure and allow that mirror to engage with that foundation of glue and then setting it to dry. Now we're going to do the same thing for our second mirror off camera. But then what I'm going to do, additionally I'm going to show you one last embellishment. I'm going to take some of these table confetti and pretty much like we did with the mirrors, I'm going to glue them on top of that middle frame so that we have the consistency of our embellishment going through our entire project. Once I have done that, I'm going to clean our piece up of any glue fronds there are. I'm going to stage it and then I'll be back to show you our finished project. Well, here you have it my darlings. Our icicles and candle light candle holder. Isn't this absolutely stunning? I think I would have to say my favorite part of this project would have to be that middle pane in which we placed our crystal glass pendants and garlands separating our two candle holders. And then if I had to pick a second favorite part, I would have to choose the those table confetti that we laid down with a combination of our permanent glue and our hot glue. But I think my darlings, I would have to say that we have nailed yet another project. Can you imagine the faces of the ones to whom you gift this when they open the package or even more the beautiful romantic atmosphere that you would be creating at home if you were to have this on your table as a prerequisite to a romantic dinner between you and your loved ones. I think, my darlings, this would be a wonderful project for each and every one of you to try. And so, if you have found any value in this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 500 thumbs up. And please be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Let me know how do you intend to use this piece this season 2018. Are you going to gift it or is this something you are going to create for your home decor? To my Danny's darlings, I want to tell you thank you for all of your comments, your questions, your feedback, but most importantly, my darlings, for all of your encouragement, please know that none of it is wasted and I appreciate each and every one of you. To those of you who may not yet be Danny's darlings, we would like to humbly ask you to consider subscribing to our ever-growing community of DIYers as we learn from and craft with each other on a weekly basis. And if you do subscribe, also be sure to ring the notification bell so that you will be made aware whenever any of our videos are published as well as when we go live as a community. And so my darlings, before I sign off from day four of Danny's Designs Craftmas 2018, actually day five. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with a motto to our channel, which is simply this. Why buy when you can DIY. And so, my darlings, my loves, 
until tomorrow for day six i say to you please 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 take care of yourselves for me know that i love you all <laughs> bye now